my name is Dr. Jen Aniker. Welcome back. I'm the owner of Aniker Clinics of Chiropractic. Through our videos, we're always wanting to educate our practice members and our community. And so we have three platforms that we look at. Number one is that we always want to answer chiropractic questions. Uh, number two is that we want to give you wellness tips. And number three, certainly we always like to give you a little insight into some of the things that I do for my own health care. So today's topic is more on a younger pediatric level. We see a lot of kiddos in our practice starting from day old babies on. And so as a child is developing, there certainly are a lot of things that you can buy uh, as your child is growing up. So today we're going to talk about the bumbo seat. <clears throat> so the bumbo seat is um, something that as chiropractors, there's kind of three points to this, and we would normally not suggest a bumbo seat, but let's dive into the whys of it. So number one is that it can decrease the natural progression of development and skill sets um, for a child and by putting them into something that they're not ready for. So in the bumbo seat, for example, um, a child, I'm just going to, my Care Bear is going to be our child today. So the child at uh, progression one at about six to nine months should be able to sit for short periods of time and then also you know maybe using their arms to balance themselves a little bit and in this worry of uh, not, not having the natural progression is that then at uh, nine months to 12 months they'll have more postural control and better be able to move their their trunk um, to be able to rotate grab things you know grab toys etc so if they're locked into this position again number one is a worry of the decrease of the natural progression uh, of the milestones and um, number two is that while this bumbo seat does have um, a fasten strap into it, which is better than not, um, but certainly the worry is um, safety issues. If a child is, you know, squirmy, are they squirming out of it? Are they falling? What kind of posture positions are they getting themselves into? Um, so number two is really asking about the safety of just a child being locked into this position when they want to move around. Uh, and then the next one really describes a little bit more, uh, and that is not to have good posture. And obviously this is a concern for us as a chiropractor. So the not having good posture um, that if you can see inside of the bumbo seat or if your kid has ever had one, it's deeper in where the hips, it's deeper in where the hips go uh, inside of the bumbo seat. So that alone is going to have the hips to come further down. So the child is naturally going to want to go forward and so <clears throat> when the hips are coming down, that's going to put the posture more into a flexed or forward posture. Um, you know, the hips go down, the low back goes forward, and then that head also will go forward as well. Um, and that's a concern for the development of the child because anytime you're not in a natural posture, you're going to have over or underdevelopment of the um, of the muscles as well as um, it's going to begin to have the body to start to compensate in different ways. Also, if you're sitting locked into the um, locked into the into the bumbo seat, obviously there's you know you're locked into this. Or I've even seen when I was doing some of the research um, it, on PT sites, OT sites that are also against. Um, against the bumbo seats that they're also talking about these being orthopedic devices. So they're locking you in. That means also that it's not, it's harder to turn or get that trunk uh, or hip stability and rotation. Also what's coming in motor and sensory or ability to move and also take in um, outside, um, you know, what's going on around you, be it sensory, be it, you know, what you can see, be it your balance, all of that is being compensated uh, by being in uh, the bumbo seat. So um, that is, again, why as chiropractors, you know, we're against the bumbo seats. We don't want your child to be in something they're not ready for, and then their body begins to compensate, and they're not then naturally moving in the progression of things that they should be uh, because of this delay. So, you know, bottom line, less is more. Get your child out on a blanket, let them crawl around, get them be on their tummy, let them be on their back, looking at things. Just really watch, again, for anything that has your child locked into uh, what's called an orthopedic device or a bumbo seat.